Almost every time you see a doctor or a nurse or a paramedic, you see them wearing a stethoscope. Uh, let's talk about this thing and what we use it for. This is an amazing device. We use it to listen to internal sounds and it helps us with diagnosing diseases. With this, we listen to breath sounds, heart sounds, bowel sounds. What else? But what is most commonly used, especially for outside a hospital environment, is for listening to breathing sounds. Do you know how to use this? Okay, if you want to wear a stethoscope, these are called ear pods. When you want to use it, you put it and you make sure that the ear pods are facing forward, not backwards. This is how you put it, not backwards, to hear properly. So the ear pods are in. On the other end, this is called the diaphragm. If you tap on it and you don't hear anything, that means that this is closed. So what you do is that you open it by twisting it. It's open. Ooh. And the best way to hear sounds is applying it onto the skin. onto the skin, not onto clothing. Okay, now let's practice listening to bowel sounds. Uh, we'll stick with breathing sounds. Okay, if you wanna to listen to breathing sounds, you put the diaphragm on these spots. Spot number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven, number eight. Okay, how is it so far? Good, lovely, easy, right? Okay, if you want to listen to breath sounds, you put the diaphragm on one of the spots. Let's start with spot number one, for example, and then you ask the person to take a deep breath while you listen. What you should hear is something like this. This is called normal breathing sounds. I'm gonna just pretend that this is in my ear. It kinda of hurts. But if someone has asthma, you might hear something like this. This is called wheezing. And the reason why you hear wheezing is because of the bronchioles. This is the bronchioles. The bronchioles are constricted like this. And that's why people with asthma, they use a puffer that's called a bronchodilator. It dilates the bronchioles to help them breathe. But what if you're listening to someone's breath sounds and you hear something like this? Kind of like this. This is called crackles. The sound of crackles occur when a person has liquid or blood in his lungs. That's a serious medical condition and you should call an ambulance. And you know what happens if someone has crackles and you give him the puff? You'll drown him. Because the person has blood or liquid in his lungs and you're gonna open the bronchioles even more. So he's gonna drown even more. Why am I saying this? Because I've seen it a couple of times when someone has asthma, he's got the puffer on him and you see another person with difficulty breathing, he just offers the puffer thinking that it's gonna help anyone. And that's why this thing is, is, is very important. But even if you see someone who's sick and you listen to his breath sounds and you hear wheezing, don't just give him a puffer, try to call an ambulance or someone if you're not medically trained, uh, because sometimes breath sounds are tricky. Unless you're in the middle of the desert and your friend is dying and you happen to have a puffer and you hear wheezing and there's no help for days, then yeah, I mean, use it just to save his life. Okay, that's all I have for now. See you guys next Wednesday. Hope you like this episode and goodbye.